my squidlings, it's Katie here, and welcome back to another review and demo video. Today we're going to be taking a look at nine different watercolor papers. Um, so I'm really excited. I ran a poll a while back and this was one of the top reviews that you guys wanted to see, so I'm really excited to bring it to you. I know I said 10 in the poll. I thought I had 10, but apparently I only had nine. So I want to go ahead and let you guys know that these were sent to me for free from the Legion company, but I'm not being paid or sponsored, you know, to make the video. I'm just giving my honest opinion. Um, and yeah, I am really excited to try all these out. And if I like any of these, I'll probably be buying them because I haven't, I mean, I've found a decent watercolor paper, but I haven't found anything I've fallen completely in love with yet. So we'll see how this goes. So um, I'm just gonna go through the names of all of the papers first, and then I'm going to test them with a bunch of different supplies from a bunch of different mediums, just to kind of see where they fall like, I know they're all watercolor paper, but I want to test them with everything, so. So first off, we have Arches watercolor paper, um, and this is 140 pounds or 300 GSM, and it's cold press. Next, we've actually got Arches watercolor paper in rough, which is 300 pounds or 640 GSM. This is like one of the thickest papers I've ever held in my life. Next, we have the Fabriano Artistico watercolor hot press. This is an extra white and it is 300 pounds. Fabriano Artistico watercolor rough paper in traditional white and this is 140 pounds. Fabriano Artistico watercolor paper in cold press traditional white and 300 pounds. Then we have Aquarello Italia, uh, which is cold press, and it is 275 pounds in white. Aquarello Portofino, which is the hot press, uh, 270 pounds also in white. Then we have Bockingford, this is 140 pounds and it is white. We have Coventry Rag Vellum in 235 GSM, so I don't really know what that translates as, but I'll put it on the screen. Uh, and this is also in white. And lastly, we have the Coventry Rag Smooth in 290 GSM. I will also put the pound like translation on the screen for this one, and this is in white. So. Now that we know what papers we're dealing with, I'm going to go in and test these in a variety of media. This is gonna take forever for me, but um, it'll be relatively short for you guys. Um, and I'm gonna be voicing over my opinions on each individual paper. So uh, I hope you stay tuned for that. I'm not gonna be doing an illustration because this is going to take so long um, and it would take a very long time to do an illustration on every single paper, but I will give you the lowdown on each one. So uh, let's go to that. So first off, we have the Coventry Rag Smooth White. Pencil did well, so did Erasing. Um, ink was really nice on this. Both the watercolor markers and Copics pilled up the paper. However, regular watercolor and gouache worked really nicely. Colored pencil was really nice. I didn't have a hard time. And acrylic was really blotchy, so I probably wouldn't recommend it. All in all, I would recommend this for watercolor, gouache, pencil, and ink. Next is the Coventry Rag Vellum. Pencil and erasing was perfect, so was ink. Watercolor marker completely soaked in, didn't blend at all, and Copic wouldn't blend and completely bled through. Both watercolor and gouache unsurprisingly did well. Color pencil was okay, but it was a little hard to burnish, and acrylic was really blotchy. Overall, I'd recommend this for watercolor, pencil, and ink. Then we've got the Bockingford paper. This is good with pencil, eraser, and ink. Uh, watercolor marker was really great on this as well, as was Copic. It blended really nicely. It did bleed through a little bit, but it wasn't too bad. Watercolor was really nice, as was gouache. I wouldn't recommend it for colored pencil just because for the technique that I use, which is burnishing, it's a little too hard to burnish. And acrylic was okay, it was a little blotchy. Um, all in all, I think this would be an absolutely great mixed media paper. Um, oh yeah, and I do show that this has great lift. Next up, we have the Aquarello Portofino, which is the hot press paper. Uh, it's great with pencil, it's great with erasing, it's great with ink and watercolor markers, it's fantastic with Copics and regular watercolor gouache. It's okay with color pencil, it's a little hard to burnish, um, and it's okay with acrylic, it's slightly blotchy. Uh, and the lift on this is super great. This is a fantastic all-around mixed media paper. I would use it for everything. Um, so.
Next, I'm showing you the Aquarello Italia, which is the cold pressed paper. It's really nice with pencil and erasing is okay. Uh, some of the pencil gets stuck in the cold press grooves and it's hard to erase. Ink is quite nice and vibrant and bold on this paper. Watercolor markers and Copic markers are nice. They're easy to blend and I really like them on this paper. Watercolor and gouache are also nice on this. I would not recommend colored pencil because of the cold press. It's just hard to get it into those grooves. And acrylic is okay. It's a little blotchy. Overall, I would recommend this uh, for watercolor because uh, it's really, really nice. Now we're moving on to the Fabriano Artistico watercolor paper, and this is cold press. It does well with pencil. It erases okay. It also gets stuck in the grooves. Ink is nice. Watercolor marker is nice. I would not recommend Copic because it's very hard to blend and it soaks up your markers. Watercolor and gouache are nice. Colored pencil I would not recommend on any cold press paper, and acrylic is quite nice on here. Also, the lift is pretty good, so I really like this paper as well. I forgot to hit record on this one, but this is the Artistico Watercolor Rough Paper. Um, pencil did well, erasing was okay, ink was very good, watercolor marker was good but Copic wasn't, watercolor and gouache were good, would not recommend colored pencil, acrylic was okay, and lift was good. Next up is the Fabriano Artistico Watercolor Hot Press Paper, and this is probably one of my favorites. Pencil and erasing was perfect, ink was really nice and bold, watercolor marker was good, Copic was okay, it wasn't the best, but it was pretty good. Watercolor worked well, gouache did too, colored pencil was really nice on this, and as was acrylic. The lift was okay, it's not as good as some of the other papers in the bunch, but it was okay. This is definitely a great mixed media paper, and it's probably one of my favorites from the bunch. Onto the Arches watercolor paper, rough pencil and erasing were okay. Uh, ink was a little splotchy in some places, so keep that in mind, however the watercolor marker was really good. Would not recommend Copic for this paper just because it's really thick and soaks up the Copic. Uh, watercolor was fantastic on this paper, as was gouache. Wouldn't recommend colored pencil, and acrylic was actually really good. And the lift on this paper is so good. This paper is just to die for. If you need a really good watercolor paper, look no further. Also, I want to add that all of these papers are neutral pH and they are all acid free. And last but certainly not least, we have the Arches Watercolor Cold Press Paper. Pencil and erasing were very good, so was ink. Watercolor marker was good. Copic was okay. Uh, it bled through a little bit and it doesn't blend super well. Um, watercolor was perfect. Gouache was good. Colored pencil, wouldn't recommend it. Acrylic was good and lift was good. So I really hope you guys found this video informational. If you did, there are links down in the description below to where you can check out these papers and maybe buy them from the Legion Company because they are some seriously good papers and I'd highly recommend them. Uh, don't forget to thumbs up the video if you liked it. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Tumblr. Links are in the description below. And don't forget to follow our cute little squid pod if you aren't already to keep updated on new videos. So until next time, guys, toodaloo!